Hi, this is problem 7 from the 2018 AIM-1. A right hexagonal prism has height 2. The bases are regular hexagons with side length 1. Any three of the 12 vertices determine a triangle. Find the number of these triangles that are isosceles, including equilateral. Okay, let's draw some hexagons to help us with our count. These don't have to be very accurate. Let's draw one more. Okay, let's think about the simplest diagrams we can uh, create. Uh, let's consider choosing the three vertices to be on the same face of the hexagonal prism. So let's call these one level diagrams. And the simplest I can think of is to choose three adjacent vertices to form our isosceles triangle. But we notice that we can spin this pattern to six equivalent positions on any of the two faces. And we can place the three vertices on either of the two faces. So all totaled, we have 12 of these types of triangles. OK, that worked out pretty well. Let's try one more. What if we spread them out to form an equilateral triangle with all three vertices on the same face? Now here we only have two equivalent positions on any of the faces. We have two faces. So we have four of these triangles in total. And I think that exhausts all the one-level diagrams. So now let's consider the two-level diagrams. And the simplest I can think of is, again, to choose three vertices sort of adjacent. But now we'll select this middle vertex to be on the opposite face. So imagine these two blue vertices being on the bottom face and this third vertex being on the top face. Now here again, we can take this pattern and spin it to six equivalent locations. And we have two configurations, one where the two blue are on the bottom and the red is on the top, or the two blue are on the top and the red is at the bottom. So all total, we have six times two 12 of these types of triangles. All right, let's uh, consider a variant of this pattern where we have two of the vertices on one face and the third vertex on the opposite face. So now we can actually generate six equivalent patterns by rotating this pattern. And we have two configurations, two blue on the bottom, red on the top, or two blue on the top, red on the bottom. Six times two, 12 of these types of triangles. Now the last configuration is kind of sneaky. We realize that since the hexagon has side length one, the diameter has length two, and that matches the face-to-face -face distance. So we can take a third vertex and place it on the opposite face, directly above one of the other vertices, and that creates an isosceles triangle in cross-section that would look something like this, 2, 2, root 2. These would be the two vertices on the bottom. This would be the vertex on the top. And here again, we have six equivalent locations or positions that we could spin this pattern. We have uh, two parodies, in a sense, the two blue on the bottom, the red on the top, or the two blue on the top and the red on the bottom. So here again, we have six times two, 12 of these types of triangles. And I think that exhausts all the possible triangles you can conceive of. So let's count them up. Four times 12 plus four, 52, final answer. Now for me, a good picture tool to organize the count is really important. If I find a good picture tool, then I can usually find the correct answer. Anyway, hope that helps, and we'll see you at the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.